Born into a wealthy Baltimore family, Henrietta Maria Carrick, 1810-1887, was the second wife of Byron Kilborn, 1801-1870, a prominent Wisconsin surveyor, railroad executive and politician who was one of the founding fathers of the city of Milwaukee in 1846. Keen to demonstrate his wealth and position, Byron commissioned Scottish-born artist Bernard Durward in 1847 to paint portraits of himself and his wife. Durward, who in Scotland had apprenticed as a shoemaker, taught himself to be an artist by copying existing works. Portraitists were commonplace in most of major American cities along the East Coast, so Durward, like so many itinerant painters of his era, travelled to what was then the western frontier to paint portraits of the newly minted entrepreneurial classes. He and his family arrived in Wisconsin in 1845. By 1847, the year of his portrait, he had built a reputation as a portrait painter of local notables. Henrietta Kilborn appears as the epitome of late 1840s fashion. Her black velvet dress is ornamented with a lace collar and half sleeves. A red manila shawl is draped over her chair. Henrietta's hair, styled with a double crossing part, is drawn back into a bun and features curls variously known as barley curls, spaniel curls or sausage curls. The kiss curl on her forehead was a personal affectation. A prominent display of jewellery bears witness to her financial and social stature. The sitter is placed within the interior of a room but adjacent to a large rectangular window that looks out onto a fanciful landscape. Partially framing the window are entwined branches of ivy, a traditional symbol of wedded love and fidelity.